right there you can see a leak the pipe is split on the on the side here uh, this is a galvanized pipe this is three quarter inch all right so there you can see all right just making some space here uh, specifically for the camera so that you can see what's going on we don't have to cut this brand ring but we're just cutting it so that the video is clear <laughs> leak is right there by the joint here is the elbow so that's what is sitting over here there's a new one just so you can see what it looks like and this pipe looks fine so i'm going to just fix this section ideally it's always good to try and replace as much as you can um, but in this case i'm just going to be replacing the section and here is one method of doing it you just cut you with an angle grinder and then i'm going to turn this out put in a new section and then join it with this johnson and how this johnson works is it uh, tightens on either side onto the pipe and it makes a watertight seal okay, the split is over here so you can actually just change this section unless the remainder of this pipe is damaged if the remainder of this pipe is damaged you'll have to change the whole pipe we're going to cut it somewhere about here so that this can go over the remainder of the pipe and this can go back in this part here can go back in this elbow Right, you can see we've cut the pipe, uh, just inspecting the remainder of the pipe, it's still in very good condition. So it just seems like something had happened just over here where it split. So we can definitely reuse the re remainder of the pipe. So I just need to uh, fix this section here. So we just need to release this from the elbow. And here I've just put a large shifting spanner because when we try and... Uh, because when we try and release this, it puts quite a lot of pressure on this pipe, on the shaft going down, the pipe going down. So I've just clamped it uh, to the pipe next to it to just help when we are releasing this so that it doesn't uh, put undue pressure on the pipe going down. Right, so we're now just going to uh, turn it out of that elbow. Go. Okay, you can see the cross section of the pipe is still fine. I mean, even there where I've cut it, look at that. There's nothing wrong with this pipe. You don't have to change or cut further into the pipe. If you look here on the other side, that's where the problem is. You can see it is worn down quite considerably. I mean, look at all that rust. And that's why it's split over here. So it's obviously the water's been sitting here for a long time and just eating into this pipe, thinning it out, and eventually it's split. Okay, so now we're going to continue with the repair. All right, so we're going to put this join further in there. I'm going to first do this side. Um, what you do is you open the back here like this. You first put that on there. And there's a washer. If you look there, you can see that's wedged or beveled. You see how that tightens in there? And as it tightens, it also pressurizes the pipe. If you can just wet this first. Just make sure there's no burrs here, otherwise it will tear this rubber. Right, so this piece is going to be threaded in here. But because this is a galvanized pipe, if you just thread it like this, it'll leak. You have to use some hemp. So here is the hemp. I've just partitioned it into uh, pieces. There you can see. And the hemp needs to be wet. You can use water or you can use spit. Hemp is now getting wet. Put quite a lot of hemp here, you don't have to put as much as this. Um, I've put quite a lot towards the back here, it's not going to go all the way in. You'll find that it'll stop about there and then the hemp makes, a, it actually expands and it becomes watertight. Okay. We are not using these threads, so it doesn't matter if we damage the threads. Remember we're going to open the other side of this. And this is going to go over that so it's actually going to fasten onto the body here rather than the thread so we can uh, tighten it on the threads even though it might damage them okay. 
follow the same principle that the washer and now the rubber just wet the rubber before you put it on Right, when you're tightening here, just make sure you support it in the middle and then you just tighten this. Right, you don't have to do this exceptionally tight. Right, to tighten this, you must hold the middle. As you can see, I've got a vice grip there. And you tighten the one side and you tighten the other side while holding the middle part. You mustn't let the middle turn while you're tightening it. Otherwise, the rubbers will uh, distort and actually get destroyed. So you tighten the nut on the left. You tighten the nut on the right. You make it fairly tight. And as you're tightening it, these nuts on the side are pushing onto that uh, washer and compressing the rubber onto either side of that pipe. All right, with the brand ring, you just made a bracket. Uh, you can put it on both sides and then you can refasten it to the old brand ring. See there, we've put the bracket for the brand ring to reinforce and you can put one at the back and there you can see the repair is finished. This thing is totally uh, watertight. There is no leak at all. And you can just see the watercolor when I open it. You can see that's the rust and all the sediment that's in the pipe. You can see that's what happens with galvanized pipes. Look at that, look at the dirt coming through there.